Williams writes a lot about plums. <laughs> and plums are um, delicious and succulent. Mm -hmm. And he seems to always be in other people's plums. <laughs> <laughs> he does have a habit of, of doing that with plums, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and so why don't we continue our conversation about empathy mm, okay. um, by looking at this poem called To a Poor Old Woman. And again, if you wouldn't mind, I'd, I'd love to ask you to read it. Sure, thanks. I'd love to read it. To a poor old woman munching a plum on the street, a paper bag of them in her hand. They taste good to her. They taste good to her. They taste good to her. You can see it by the way she gives herself to the one half sucked out in her hand. Comforted, a solace of ripe plums seeming to fill the air. They taste good to her. So one thing I noticed in your reading is that you read through the enjambments. Um, one of the most striking things about this yes, poem yes. is the line breaks. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so, and I'm not sure I would have read yeah. through the enjambments, yeah. but I thought it was quite beautiful the way you did. Oh, wow. So that we heard a slightly different poem. We heard a more complete and mm -hmm. holistic mm -hmm. experience mm -hmm. than we perhaps see. Yeah. and. It's, after all, a poem about a man observing mm. someone else eating plums. Yes, yes, and so yes. I'm, yeah. I'm talking too much about no, no. read through the enjambments. No, no. I think it's a really interesting point because I struggle with you know, those enjambments when I see it on the page in a good way, I think, because I think you know, Williams is asking us to really slow down at those moments mm -hmm. in the poem and, and really think what it might be like what the taste of those poems, poems, <laughs> what the taste of those plums <laughs> are the poems, yeah. uh, but what the taste of those plums are to this poor woman. And so, yeah. so by, by forcing us in a way to, to pause and to, to regard the taste of how they taste good to her in these different ways. The different, and allowing us to think about the different, th the different benefits. Yes that might follow a pleasurable experience yeah. of taste. Yeah. They taste the first, if, if we jump to the, yes, yes. to the stanza where we have the, the most drastic enjambments, mm. uh, they taste good to, or most drastic line breaks, yes. they taste good to her, they taste good right. to her, <laughs> they taste nice. good to her. How would you, are there yeah. differences that well, you? Well, there is a way I think that, you know, he is observing and admitting us to the experience of savoring. And so they taste good to her is, you know, that first, the first line and complete thought, complete phrase in that, in that. I can tell, answer. right? Yeah. I can tell, boop. She's I like, recognize that, yes. Yeah. They taste good to her. But then they taste good to her. You know, there's a way in which I think he's asking us to, to reflect a little and to pause and, and, and again sort of savor good. What does it mean for something to, you know, they taste the good, good the right? Good. There's some like, there's goodness, goodness, right? Yes. About just the experience of, of watching someone else uh, savor this, this. It's what we mean when we say, stop to smell the roses, yeah, exactly. <laughs> right? It's good. good, like this is the good yes, in, exactly. and, it, and where is it? It's all in yes. the flavor of this plum. Yes. They yes. taste good, and then yes. next line, to her. Yes. And that to me feels like a gift, oh, just to this old yes. woman, and that good flows. You know, underscoring her presence in this experience to her, to her right. you know, it's what a gift. Um, she's not just a poor old yeah, woman. She's not just someone we see and look away from her, but to her, you know, that is a moment of, of really recognizing her, I think, and, and recognizing also her experience. Of yes, pleasure exactly. and pain. That they taste good 
to her, you know, that this is specific also to her, that it's not just a generic experience of goodness, which he plays with, of course, yes. and, you know, there yes. is, he wants us to She's know. been visited yes. by yes. this yes. grace. Yes, exactly. Even. Really, yes. I think, absolutely. They taste, and, I, you know, is this another bite yeah. <laughs> to her? Yeah, they so taste. It is another bite, yeah. Good to her. It's, for me, the, the second taste is just a, it's a little lighter. Yeah. It's just the flavor, uh -huh. flooding. It's really about the taste. Yes, yes, absolutely. And also I think too, you know, it really is about the taste. And, and, and I also think there's a moment where, you know, good to her, you know, it's perhaps a, a bit of a, of a reminder to us also to, mm -hmm. to be good to her, yes. to be good witnesses, to be uh. good in our presence and our recognition of a fellow person. Yes. You know, this again isn't... And that our gaze, our witness, yeah. our reflection might itself be nourishing yeah. in some way. Yes, Where this begins yeah. as an act of just voyeurism. Right. <laughs> or even a kind of detachment, you know. Yeah. It's like, oh, there's a woman, there's a paper bag. Right. And, you know, there's little hints that it's more than that. Even in the beginning, you know, the munching a plum, there's mm -hmm. all this, mm -hmm. you know, yeah, there's like, you know, we, we're tasting it even at the beginning of the poem. But you're right, yeah. I think, you know, he hints at that a little bit, but it's really, you know, this could be a scene that we just pass by. Yes. Well, here the, the line breaks are much less distinct and yeah. the, the stanza is not cut up so that you you kind of munch the whole yeah, thing. I, exactly I don't I like, feel as though you can take yes, in the whole yeah, it's this like whole that first big bite baby right like, <laughs> the street a paper bag it's amazing the way that line mm -hmm. just gives us a littered street yes. a, you know yeah. a, a poor street yeah, it's a poor street a non you know nondescript yeah. street in Even a way though yeah. the paper bag doesn't turn out to be on the street yes, yes. but instead yes but um, it evokes that in us right it, it it feels like a kind of a littered you know a, a poor street a street that you know isn't particularly yes. but instead she has this whole precious yes bag yes. uh, and she's rich yeah, she is rich. <laughs> she's rich in that moment and and when you think you know he wrote this really during the depression. great depression yeah. and so you know this sense of plenty in the face of deprivation you know yes. and because there's the right. strangeness okay. of the poem comes from how yes. we're actually watching not eating yes exactly <laughs> and we are observers again you know and and yet we you know there is this incredible and also in those repeated lines uh, there's also a kind of urgency a kind of hunger really that she's hungry also she's savoring yes. this and yes. it's delicious and it's and we taste it as she tastes it but there's also i think in those repeated you know they taste good to her they taste good to her there's a kind of urgency there also i think and and a real sense of of her hunger as well yes. and her abandon that her abandon. that that is emphasized yet more in the next stanza you can see it by the way she gives herself to the one half sucked Suck out up. in her hand and there she's yeah. she's hungry and yes. there's but there's there's an erotic yes. she's She's her old, there's a, there's a younger woman. Yes, there's, right, exactly, and there's nourishment there. There's, there's nourishment, there's gusto, there's yes. delectation. There's delectation, exactly, <laughs> great word. It's, there's really, you know, again, that kind of savoring that she's really, you know, just, she's just, Loving this poem. This, 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 <laughs> she's, loving this, these she's loving these plums. Even though Williams is a poet who resists abstraction, yes, yes. they 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 are plums as the fruit of all of our aliveness and yes, uh, plums yes. as they stand for yes. organic. Yes, a kind of almost right, like an animal pleasure in in you know eating fruit. I mean, we eat to sustain ourselves, and in some ways, I think there's. Yes. You know that that's very present in this poem, and of course, you know the the, the kind of more um, uh, sort of symbolic yes. uh, kind of nourishment that we we I think derive from again this shared experience with this with this poor woman. Yes, um, it's eating as art, yes. and as social yes, as, right. sympathy right. and yes, um, absolutely. I think yeah, so, yes. all the bounty of the world. Yes. And we all share in that, as you say, even though this was a time of, you know, of, of poverty and of, of a lot of people didn't have sustenance. And so, you know, but yet 
this one bag of plums feels like it's enough to sustain all of us. You know, yes. it's enough to. And he enjoys us. watching yes. her eat it and is elevated yes. morally. Yes. Absolutely, it's almost you know like the, you know the 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 the, the loaves and the fishes. You know that there's enough yes. for all of us. There's this exactly. miraculous, you know, plenty in the face of 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 privation. You know, it's really amazing.